Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Alan Wake. In our last episode, we managed to make our way further up the hill through that little train yard over there and through a silver mine, which kind of deposited us right here, uh, pretty close to the summit of Mirror Peak. We're not there yet, but uh, we're getting ever closer, and that's going to be the important thing. Looks like we're going to be calling over... This little tram here, and I hear the birds. What are you saying, damn, we knew this was going to happen. But it's all good, because we do have rounds in our flare gun. Only three, so there there is certainly that imperative to make all of our rounds count. But, uh... They should make quick work of things, hopefully. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so we do have some more flare gun rounds, some batteries. All good things, all good things. So we'll duck under our light here, and uh, we'll wait for the tram to get here. Which, of course, we know is going to be a rough ride. It's gonna be through the darkness. There are going to be crows. Oh, great! Another cable car. Just great. Yeah. Don't always have the best luck with the cable cars. Um, well, that was kind of... <laughs> the heck was that? Physics trying to do me in here? Get off of that thing. That was kind of goofy. Oh, so you guys want to play, huh? Well, I has guns, too. So, yeah. Eat it, fools. We're back to being MLG Alan Wake here. The crafty esports phenom. so it's probably telling us we should switch to our revolver. We're fully loaded. We've got 18 flares, three flashbangs, four shots for our flare gun. We're, we're doing good. means we're probably getting near the end of things, and they're going to take it all away from us, as they do. Every time. What do we have here? Still in hunting rifle? Yes. That's beautiful news. Now we're beginning to get the darkness yet again. You got nothing, son. Nothing. I am MLG Alan Wake.
squad. Light going out on us? Nope. Revolver. Yeah, we'll probably switch back to the revolver. Need to probably conserve. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake, is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquake of 1970, and even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folktales. It is popular rare, it's a popular recreational area for the residents. It honestly doesn't seem that way to me um it doesn't really seem like too many people are really about going and partying down at cauldron lake that is that just an observation on my part i mean maybe maybe it's a good good make out destination anything is certainly possible let's see if we've got anything of interest up here that would be a negative but never hurts to look Yeah, this is going to be fun, I imagine. All right, so I yeah, I get to walk. I can't can't sprint or anything across here. But now I can, so we're in good shape. Where's the next one? Up there? Okay. What? Man, that was some of his own MLG. They brought in a hired gun, man. Where's the big boy? There he is. Alright, took a full cylinder to get through him. Sometimes. Alright, so we got a little touch of the yellow here. We have a little bit more. There's our arrow. Flare gun, flare gun ammo. Propane, propane accessories. Do a couple of quick steps here. Try to get us back on the path. Such as it is. would appear the bridge is out, but we've got a manuscript page down there, so hey. This must be the way. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Well, he just clearly was not in the right alternate universe. I mean, it's really the, you know, the only thing. He just didn't set his TARDIS right. Yeah, and I know there's the argument, you know, TARDIS can't cross dimensions and so on and so forth, but at one point... He could. When the narrative demanded it. Yeah. 
yeah. Give him the writer's shoulder. And the writer's boot. Because if you can't be MLG, maybe you can be WWE. Or Muhammad Ali? I don't know. I could rhyme words of English in conjunction to one another. So no way into this old house just yet, eh? Maybe it queued up something. Oh, basement. <laughs> Writer's boot! Let's see. So we've got all kinds of stuff in here. A lot of Tom, Tom, Tom. Of course, Thomas Zane. I miss you, Tom. Uh, let's see. CW plus TZ. You talk to me on TV, Tom, Tom. Miss you, Tom. Did you write this? I think that is a lot of negatives on all counts. Is it Cynthia Weaver? Was that her name? Zane's Muse. Table with stuff. Shotgun ammo. We're not packing a shotgun currently. It's always subject to change, but I would prefer not to because I, I would prefer the uh, MLG Alan Wake action figure to the coach gun Alan Wake action figure. gun are we on? Ah, flare gun. Okay. I'm I'm okay with this. We'll drop another flare like that. And we'll switch to this. Hit him. Whoa, a twofer. Look at you. it up. Knucklehead. Because that was the best you had. And I survived it. Relatively unscathed and becoming increasingly unscathed. By the Alan Wake mutant healing factor, if you weren't aware. go. Okay. Just a reflection off of a bedpan. It's just hoping it wasn't a manuscript page because there is no going back in there. Because I might be able to put a rifle around uh, in the sweet spot of a dime at a hundred paces. Um... Climbing is not really one of my strong suits. I see a light. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Another manuscript page? I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. 
You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Uh, let's see. No yellow over there. Poop. Doesn't sound like things ended very well for Mott, our, well, now confirmed fake kidnapper. Um, while I'm never the type to wish ill will against anybody, I'm, I'm pretty sure he probably had it coming. I mean, he he's dogged us pretty good. Done some less than wholesome things. Made us sit in that hot mill forever among many, many other things. Here is the road. The road to Cauldron Lake. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Episode 4, The Truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. Go, 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 go. Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. I think with our... <laughs> drugged up stupor intact, uh, this will probably be a good enough spot, I think, to leave off for this episode. Um, before we commit ourselves to moving forward with the narrative, you know. Good evening, oh. Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. 
So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Well, again, before we follow Dr. Hartman and get to know our surroundings, I think we'll call it for uh, this episode of Alan Wake. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to press the like button down below. If you have any comments, questions, or critiques for me, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, this has been Alan Wake. I'm Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming.